Again, to the Shonington page, I just want to thank you for tuning in. I want to thank the subscriber and I want to thank the, the, the support. It's a very short video in uh, um, trying to motivate people and trying to, to encourage people. Keep supporting people in need. Supporting somebody in need, meaning uh, is not only, it, 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 no, I take that back. It is not to do, it's got nothing to do with you as a person feeling better and doing better. It's really got to do with the person. You know, supporting um, has, it, it, it is a very big and wide scale, very big on different, different level. The support, the dynamics of supporting the family, the dynamics in supporting your, your employer, the dynamics in supporting your community, the dynamics in supporting other countries, the dynamics in support people of different culture, race, and religion, you know. Um, it's a very important um, factor to, to be a listener. First, we have to be a listener, you know, uh, 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 to observe, to listen, and to be able to um, uh, administer or to approach it in a very sensitive by putting what you hear into action. You know, some religion, uh, let me take for example, some religion don't like you touching um, them, you know, so you don't say, well, we touch, you know, you respect that. Some religion, um, they kiss the men, they don't kiss the women. Just, you know, don't have anything to say, that's just the way they do it. Some religion, um, they kiss the male and the female. There is nothing wrong with that. Our Bible teaches that you greet each other, not only kiss. It's not, if you don't, if you don't, if one doesn't do it, that doesn't mean it is, um, that person is wrong. It just is saying that if you do it, it is not wrong. You know, if you choose to greet each other like that. Some houses, maybe the Jewish or the, or the um, Far East, they take their shoe off before coming in. That's just a custom. So, you know, helping people and supporting people is, is taking in consideration the person's um, holistic need or holistic want and then you know how to administer it not in a disrespectful way but in a respectful way we are a nation of people and we understand that at the end of the day it doesn't matter what is the color of your skin what is your religion what is your uh, what is your race or what is uh, um, what flag you serve under in other words what country you are in as humanity we have got one thing in common that we are all eventually gonna die and before that time comes it's important that we live first and in living we support each other we support each other by the way we speak to people about people we support each other by your driving on the street we support each other by not robbing um, each other whether it's your employer time we support each other by treating people with respect and honor support people support charities today you know some people support charity because their children had a disease or they or they have some loved one um, that have died from um, leukemia or heart disease or or or, or, or uh, mental illness or you, you know wh wh whatever it is and do for and if you feel to do volunteer work you can do volunteer work with the with the nhs you know with your local gp with your local library with your local council with your local police with the with your local church with your local um businesses with your um and and, and, if, you and if you're a very small community which i know some a lot of us are living in very tiny um, villages, then you can start something from home. Start something from home. Speak to some CEO of big charities, the Red Cross, the, um, the NSPCC, the, um, the, the, the YMCA. Just speak to uh, the BBC. Find a way. Your bit that you do, if you're on social media, social media is a big thing, it's not a bad thing. You know, it's not a bad, it's not a good thing. It is, a, it, it is whatever you want it to be. So I would say to you, use social media. If that is your way and your door and your avenue, use it in a positive way. That's you giving back. You know, supporting each other is somehow giving back. It's somehow having a worth of living. It's a guarantee. It is a, it is a, a glorious honor to be able to be in a position of 
um, of, of, of um, privilege to be able to illuminate and enlighten and bring freshness and bring awareness and advice and counsel. And we know that we are a spiritual being. And even though sometimes today we were talking about today um, younger people that uh, sometimes are not interested in spiritual thing, we are asking the leaders that is you giving back to help to support the younger generation to grab a hold on their spiritual existence. The one spiritual existence is what is going to drag you in out of the, the, the shallowness of life into a deeper meaning, a deeper sense, a more sense beyond what you see. So today, I say to you, in whatever way you can, in an advice, in a word, to be who you are. Because who you are is how God created you to be, to fit in the avenue that he's sending you. You don't need to change to please anyone. You need to be able to administrate yourself and structure yourself, discipline yourself with the principles of the order. The right order of God. And then you need to project because you're a light we are we are all light so if we use it in a way that is positive upright and dignified we indeed will be a, a blessing to all so today i thank you for taking the time to support those in need and i thank you for taking one minute of your time to meditate and reflect on your entire existence to find a deeper meaning and remember never you dare give up